Today's project, I am making an over-the-arm dust collection support arm for my table saw. And I had this idea because I added new dust collection here recently. And so I wanted to create something that was just easy to make. And so I thought the CNC would be perfect. So I'm using the uh, Inventables X-Carve. And what I did is I went into easel, as you saw in the beginning of the video, and created what I had in my mind after I sketched it out and imported that into uh, the easel program and then cut it out here at the X car. Now this took about maybe an hour or so uh, and I'm using just regular uh, birch plywood. It's about three quarters of an inch thick and 28 inches wide and 20 inches uh, in length or vice versa, 28 by 20 by three quarters. And so I'm gonna take in a couple of these arms uh, that you see I'm cutting here are these actually the support brackets for the arm and I'm cutting four of those and I'll glue uh, two and two to make make them a little bit thicker and then here I'm cutting the the bracket itself to hold the arm and I'll glue those two pieces together and so this is a really a simple project but it's just something that I needed in my shop so I thought man I could do this cut this out on the X carve in about an hour and it looked really nice and so here I am gluing up the, the the brackets that will go on the support arm and this will just basically hold the hose in place and not fall off of the support arm one way or the other uh, and also I've got a, a short guard on my blade and so I will be able to place that guard into the into these brackets and hold it up out of the way when I don't need it and I'll show that here in just a little bit at the end of the video so all that's glued up so I basically have the the main bracket piece that I'm gonna attach to the table saw itself I'll have an arm and then these two hose brackets um, that I'm sanding here and all I'm doing is just taking off the sharp edges and corners uh, and I also am using a couple of my router templates that I cut on the CNC uh, to draw out some curved area so on the main arm itself uh, I cut out the back side just a rounded curve and on the other side I cut out the inverse of that so the hose would have something to rest in and now I put this piece back on the CNC I should have done it before it's in the plan now but I routed a a slot through there I'm putting in a uh, just a, a countersink threaded insert into that bracket piece installed the arm and the hose brackets and now I can take the main arm with a threaded knob and just screw that into that insert that I just installed into the main bracket and this is going to allow me to position this arm to the left or right or swing it out of the way if I want to but you can see how that holds, holds the, the hose up out of the way and it's just very clean looking in my opinion uh, you can buy support arms to hold this stuff but hey if you're a woodworker why not just make one right so you can see how that holds the the shark guard up out of the way I can swing this out uh, to the side and the length of that arm was intentional because of the length or the width of the table saw now a little bonus here a little extra footage here that I didn't cover in the Inventables project is just a fence caddy now this is something that I wanted to have because I had several things over on the side of my table saw that were just laying on the table and if I were to move the fence all the way over some of that stuff may fall off on the floor and you know just make a mess so the caddy here was uh, designed to move with the fence no matter where the fence is I've got you know my tape measure my pencils small clamps whatever I might need uh, just right there with the fence since I'm always moving the fence and my hand is on the fence when I'm using the table saw uh, or before I use the table saw but when I'm setting the fence all of my, all the things that I need are right there with it and it moves with it and so I also added some little felt pads on the back of this and this is going on a saw stop so this is made specifically for the saw stop fence and it just slides into place and it doesn't go all the way to the end and that's because of that bracket that's holding the support arm up uh, and so that when it slides over it misses that main bracket uh, and leaves me just a, 
a couple of inches. I can go all the way. I've got the 36 inch uh, fence system here, so I can go all the way to 36 inches. And this is not, uh, this caddy does not interfere with anything. And so you can see there, I'm putting it right at about 36 inches and it works fine. So I want to demonstrate how I want to just get everything out of the way. The shark guard is really nice because I can just, you know, one or two little movements there. It's up out of the way. And then I can loosen that knob and swing this out of the, out of the way over the fence. Still not hitting anything there. So it's out of the way. Real nice and neat looking. Uh, and so I'm really, really happy with this. And so when I get ready to put it back, it's just a couple little, little movements. Un you know, the, loosen the knob. Swing the arm back out in place, tighten it down, and put the guard back on. And that's pretty much it. So really useful in my shop, something I needed. Uh, check out the links down below to Inventables. Uh, there you can find the uh, links to an X-Carve, uh, that's my affiliate link, and then also the project for this support arm that you see here. Uh, and the support, or uh, the fence caddy, you can kind of watch this video and kind of see how I did it, but it's just straight cuts on the table saw and anybody can do this for their own table saw. So I hope you get some good ideas here. Check out the project. And as always, thanks for watching.